Hey, hey, this is Ryan Zeldin Rust with Two Elm Builds, and I just want to welcome you to part two of making a beer bottle cap holder. If you didn't watch part one yet, that's okay. You can go watch it anytime. It just walks you through how to create the tool pass and Vectric software on how to make this beer bottle cap holder. And here in part two, we're gonna mill up the lumber, as you can see here, and, and show you how to put the Onefinity CNC machine to work. What you see milling up here is a piece of pine that I had left over from an older project. And I'm just trying to get it down to 0.4, and there you see it's 0.4 inches. And I didn't have a board that was wide enough, plus it wouldn't have fit through my planer anyway. So I'm just gonna snap this one in half and glue it up on end, or on edge, I should say. And here I'm using my Jonathan Katz Moses uh, stop block. If you don't have one of these on your crosscut sled, go get one. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just a good stop block. It's the best I've found. But uh, it, it works great. Go get one. If I didn't say that already, go get one. And here, I'm, you can see I'm gluing it up with my great Harbor Freight clamps. And I haven't had any issues with them. I have other ones too, but these were free and available to you. So slap a lot of glue in there. I don't mind cleaning up some squeeze out. And the, the whole key, you know, when you're doing a board that's half inch thick is don't try and put too much pressure to clamp them up, just enough to get the glue line closed. I do have some calls on the end to keep it even. And then after it dried, of course, more sanding. Now here's the blue tape trick I was talking about. This is painter's tape. I put a whole bunch on the bottom of the project. I go to my CNC machine, I mark out where I'm gonna lay out the board, put down more blue tape. Then I'm gonna take some CA glue, I have tight bond here and some accelerator, any of them will work. And I'm putting it all, all over this. Now I have a bunch of little holes I'm cutting out, so I wanted to make sure that it was gonna stick really well. So I put a lot of glue on, I usually don't need this much at all. I'm only doing it because I'm cutting out those little holes. Now I line it up, or I spray the accelerator on the other piece of tape, and you can see I have those little red tabs on the bottom. I line this board up on there and press it down. And just because I'm me, I cut out the outside tape because I didn't like the way it looked. And then a few brad nails in there to hold it down. Now here we're at the interface for the Onefinity machine. I'm loading up the software I created. I bought this 1 8 in mill on Amazon. I wanted to see how it works. It's an upcut. I think it was like 15 bucks and it worked great to tell you the truth. It cut out these holes great. It was deep enough to go through the wood. Strong bit. Really liked it. Does a good job. And you can see with the blue tape trick only a couple of those little holes popped out along the way and I can deal with that. I didn't have to sit there the whole time. Now to cut out the state of Minnesota I have this bit I got on Amazon again. I wanted to try a different one. This is a quarter inch compression bit by Align Carbide. Yeah, I'll show you the carbide, uh, the, the bit. You can see the end there where it spins one way, the rest of the bit spins another. It worked great for cutting out the shape of Minnesota. I like that bit too. We'll see how long it stays sharp. Now the fun of peeling off all of that blue tape and then of course, sanding some more. You'll see here. There it is. Then I used, uh, boy, I believe it was, oh, First, I drilled some holes, because I didn't know what my client was gonna do with this, and if they were gonna mount it on the wall or not, so I figured I'd pre-drill the holes, make it a little easier for them so they don't split the wood later. I think this would look really cool if they put some bushings behind it, made it pop off the wall a little bit. But anyway, now they can mount it. Now I use some Verithane polyurethane. I just use the water base spray real quick. I didn't want to sit here and brush all this. When it's such a small project, I just sprayed it made life a lot easier. I think I put a total of three coats on. I sanded a little bit between each coat. I usually use 600 grit because that's what I had in the drawer with the sandpaper. Worked great. Made it nice and smooth. I, I did spray both sides, but here you have it. This will hold all the beer bottle caps. I wish I had beer bottle caps to show you how they fit, but they do fit. They fit perfect. Uh, it was a great project, something you can make pretty easy. And if you learned something here, please like and subscribe. Thanks for checking this uh, episode out. Don't forget to check out part one. And here are some great bloopers for you to finish this out. Thanks guys, have a good one. And that fly just flew right in front of our scene. So, mm. and what, mm. take number 5,000. Take number 5,100.
Jeez. Okay. And if you happen to have a seat. Mm.